I'm Brian. I'm a couples and individual therapist in Toledo, Ohio. And I met you because I took the externship, the EFT externship back in 2019. And you were my lovely trainer. From, uh, as you know, I'm from the Midwest originally. Mm -hmm. So there's something really special for me when I get to come to the Midwest and talk about this very precious model that we have emotionally focused therapy because I I so believe in what it brings to us as therapists and to our clients one of the things I'm so excited about is we are actually planning an in-person training mm -hmm. in believe that'd be great <laughs> It does, it does give you a real map, you yeah. know, um, when you think, I, I remember when I was first doing, um, doing therapy and doing couples and family therapy, there was so much going on, you know, when you talk about images, I think of like having a, a box of jigsaw puzzle pieces, and that's what it felt like sometime. I had so many different pieces of information, but I didn't have a way to organize it. Mm. Right. And we really find a way to take this and organize it so we understand it, organize it so our clients are fluent in it. Mm -hmm. Another really neat thing about this model when people have a course of EFT therapy, they can pretty much tell the story of what happened in the therapy. They can kind of say, yes, when we came in, I thought it was all this person's fault. They, they were blaming me. We were at each other. We kept going round and round. Then we understood what was really going on. And we started to speak, learn to speak more from our hearts so the other person could listen. And we don't get stuck in those patterns anymore. And we understand what to do. So if I start to feel freaked out, if I come in the door again, and in fact, the dog is the only one that says hello to me, I have a way of going to my partner and say, hey, that didn't feel so good. You know, what was up? And mm. they can respond to me. Yeah, I don't just slam doors anymore and mm -hmm. I hope that somebody will get the message of how much that hurt. Right. And the partner doesn't just like run under the covers because they hear the door slamming. They go, oh, mm -hmm. right. I, you, thank you. Yes. You've said that before. I'm sorry. I was on a long phone call. I missed that. I'm mm -hmm. here now. Can we talk now? So yeah. people have a way of catching each other and tuning mm -hmm. in. Yeah, that's, that's a really great way to <clears throat> zoom out and look at the, you know, what's the transformation from like day one or, or even, you know, not even just day one, but like even the first couple couple of months or for some people longer than that they come in and they're in your office and they're they're in their negative cycle you're seeing it right there in the moment yeah. of what happens yeah. what happens at home and how they just keep uh snowballing together spiraling together right and then to to keep helping go into those places and get deeper and and then to have some success um, in sharing and, and being felt and heard and responded to and how that builds that positive cycle. And if they do it enough, then they get to that, that, uh, that place that you're talking about where they, can, where they can interrupt it in the office, but even, even better than that, outside of the office, when they can get to that point, that's really a really cool place. And then they can talk about their journey in a very different way of, like you were saying, this is how we got stuck together. And now when that same trigger comes up for me, I'm less afraid to reach. I can reach and I can reach in a way that my partner can respond to me. Exactly. Exactly.